Hi there, Andrew here. I love to be entertained, but I have no patience. So I give every new show I watch only one episode to hook me. Welcome to Debut Review. So, I've been thinking. I've been thinking that I was just going through a scrapbook uh, for a particular thing I wanted to show off in this video. And I just noticed that this fell out of the scrapbook. That's a snake skin. Had snakes at one point, and apparently scrapbooked its shed skin, so that's disgusting. I'll put that right back in the scrapbook. Anyway, scrapbooks are down here. Um, so, um, the reason for the scrapbook will become apparent later, when I show off a picture of me about, I don't know, five years old. Much cuter than I am now. A bit less of an asshole. So, uh, anyway, I was thinking, hey, Thundercats Roar. What happened to Thundercats Roar? It was announced like two years ago. And everyone went, well, that looks terrible. And by that looks terrible, I think what most people meant, at least what I meant, was I don't like the art style. It's off-putting to me. I mean, it could be goofy fun. Who the hell knows? But I... <laughs> That's some unattractive character design right there. Anyway, uh, I was like, hey, did that ever come out? And, um, yeah, actually, the first uh, episode, the two-parter debuted on Cartoon Network's site uh, back in January. And I think the show starts airing proper sometime this month. Uh, so I was going to do a debut review on the first episode of Thundercats Roar. Uh, so I went to Cartoon Network. For some reason, I had in my mind, let me just make sure this thing actually works and I don't have to, like log in with a special thing and uh, for the past who knows how many weeks uh, their video player for me just has not worked not for Thundercats Roar not for anything else they have on their site I just I was actually about to check out um, Hunters that new show on Amazon Prime uh, and I was like I should check to see if Thundercats Roar is working Thundercats Roar is working so here we are with a debut review so, Thundercats, Thundercats, ho. Um, I'm a fan of Thundercats. It, I mean, at least I was when I was five, you know? Um, it's still cool. I, I, I still hold it in a nostalgic place in my heart. Um, but I, I actually just recently, just out of curiosity, rewatched the first episode of Thundercats. And, um, I have to say, it holds up a lot better than, say, He-Man. Something else I was really fond of when I was young. Um, it's not good. But, it's, it's good enough for a five-year-old, or six-year-old, or seven- or eight-year-old. You know, it's, it's fine. What really works about things like, uh, Thundercats and He-Man and shows like that from the 80s is... While they were kind of terrible, especially from, you know, more mature, so to speak, perspective, um, or palette, uh, they were incredibly imaginative. They work for kids, I think, because the character designs are just so neat. You know, the Thundercats and the, uh, the, the mutants are just really strong character design. All the Masters of the Universe characters are really strong character designs. And even though the animation is in the shows is kind of crap, especially He-Man, uh, and the characters often go off model, and the acting is hokey, and the stories are stupid, for a kid, for a young kid, Anything that makes, that fires up your imagination is something that you will probably enjoy because, you know, even though you're a kid and you're stupid and you have no taste, your imaginative little brain manages to fill in all of the, you know, the missing animation, especially for something like He-Man 
or the plot holes. You, you just, oh man, this is so cool, this world and this these characters, and they, oh, they, you get the action figures and you smack them together, and you just cre create what's cool in your mind, even though what's cool isn't necessarily in any of these shows to some extent or another. So I say all this because if Thundercats Roar turns out to be incredibly crap in addition to being just aesthetically unappealing to me, that's not going to bother me any, you know? I love Thundercats. In fact, I uh, dressed up as Lion-O for, uh, for Halloween one year, and I'll try to get a better picture of this. Um, I think that I'm five years old, something like that. I had, uh, I had the, the Sword of Omens toy and the glove, whatever it was called. Um, I remember I actually went to school in costume, not full makeup, but the costume, and there was someone, some other kid dressed up as Mumra, so that was cool. So I stabbed him with the Sword of Omens. Nah, I'm pretty sure I didn't do that. But he went, Rawr! and I went, or something. I don't know, it's stupid. I was five, what do you want? Um, so, yeah, if Thundercat's roar turns out to be just utter garbage, I'll have wasted 20 minutes of my time. Oh well. Thundercat's is still Thundercat's. You can get it on DVD. It's fine. Is it as good as you remember? If you saw it when you were really young... No. Is it as bad as you might think? No. Is the intro still as amazing and kick-ass as ever? Absolutely. Thundercats has an amazing intro. The song is rockin', the animation is incredible, it's exciting, it's fast-paced. Ah! Even now, you're like, oh my god, this is the coolest thing I've ever seen! Seriously, forget this video. Look up somewhere on YouTube, look up the, uh, the intro to the original Thundercats from the 80s. It's amazing! Even if Thundercats Roar sucks, I hope at the very least it has an awesome intro. Like, you know, its intro just kicks ass and has an amazing theme song. I mean, we can hope. Hey, let me read the uh, show description here. Fleeing the destruction of their home planet Thundara, Lion O and the Thundercats land on the mysterious, dangerous, all around awesome world of Third Earth. But their enemies, the mutants of Plundar, have followed them, and it turns out Third Earth already has a Mumra problem. Can Lion O learn the ropes of being a leader in time? Well, that's exactly the plot of Thundercats, so, uh, I, are they doing exactly the same thing? Be interesting to see. Is it just the general premise, or are they gonna, is it like a remake, only just with a different aesthetic and more overtly goofy tone? I don't know. I, I just don't know. If only there was a way I could find out. You know, I spent nearly an hour going through scrapbooks looking for that stupid photo of me dressed up as Lino for Halloween when I was five years old. Still a cute picture, I guess. So, you have to be a cable subscriber and that cable package has to include Cartoon Network to watch more than two minutes of any given episode on Cartoon Network's website. Fair enough. I wish that was more clear up front, because if it were, I wouldn't have wasted an hour this evening prepping to do a debut review for a show that I can't watch more than two minutes of. Because I, I don't have cable, so... Oh well, uh, so what did I think of the two minutes I saw? Well, they didn't do an intro, although it is using the actual cartoon theme. Although, if I remember, probably the first episode of Thundercats doesn't either. I think they just jump right into the introductions. 
So, uh, yeah, Thundera blows up, the Thundercats escape, they crash on Third Earth, and the pirates follow them. Um, it's going for really, really dorky, cheesy, really broad, obnoxious, very young humor. You know, kind of... <sighs> host of Blue's Clues talk kind of cadence to the, 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 the character dialogue, you know, like, there's Thundera! It's a planet! Isn't it cool? Uh-oh! The planet exploded! Now the Thundercats are in trouble! You know, that kind of a cadence to the, the line delivery. I've since grown out of that. Um... I also, and it's hard to judge because I only saw two minutes, but um, it's really difficult to judge, but I was getting the impression that a lot of the humor is really derived from knowledge of the Thundercats. Like, they make fun of um, Panthro, Chitara, Lion-O. Who's the other guy? The guy with the whip. Well, whatever his name is. Chitaro, Panthro, the Lion-O, Wily Kit, Wily Cat, Snarf, Jagger. Why can I not remember the name the one guy? One person I can't remember is the guy I want to talk about. Oh, well. This dude. Um, he has a whip with, uh, like, a bola whip. And um, the narrator's like, this is this guy, and he has a whip with balls on it. I'm like, okay, that's Kind of funny. Uh, they're like, here's Thundera! And it goes poof. And they're like, uh-oh! Well, everything's got to explode sometime. Ha ha ha. Eh, you know, it's, it's, it's for kids. Whatever. Um, yeah, I... Uh, so, I don't like the art style. I mean, the animation is solid. The anima the characters, for the two minutes I watched anyway, remain on model, which is often not something you can say for the original Thundercats. Um, the animation I is very fluid, also something you can't say for the original Thundercats. But I really don't like the character design. It's, to me, ugly. It's really off-putting. There are, I'm ashamed to say, a bunch of shows that I don't watch or haven't given a chance simply because I don't like the art style. Um, Adventure Time. I have heard nothing but fabulous things about that show. I hear it is super clever, super creative, super good. I've never given it a chance because I genuinely cannot stand the way it looks. I might like it if I watched it, but golly... I really cannot stand the character design of that show. Really, really, really don't like it. And this style reminds me, it has elements of that, and I just don't like it. Oh well. Uh, I will say, though, that the brief look we got of the pirates, they actually don't look too bad in this art style. The Thundercats? Nope. That's... That's a choice that I don't agree with. It's kind of like um, Link in Wind Waker. I love Wind Waker. It's a great game. I actually do like the aesthetic, the cartoon aesthetic of Wind Waker. I specifically do not like Link's character model in the Wind Waker. I think he's ugly. Luckily, he's facing away from the camera for most of the time. So, um... So, I'm going to watch the first episode of Hunters instead, and, um, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll let you know what I think of that. It's good. Now, do I say it's good because the acting is good? It is, but no. Do I say it's good because the 70s era set design and costuming is good and fun? It is. 
but no. Do I say it's good because the characters are really interesting and fun, especially at the end when they're introducing the motley crew that goes on the hunt? I mean, that is very cool, but no. No. I am a simple man. Very, very, very simple. While the show is good, good characters, good writing, good performances, good set design and costuming, and it looks like it's going to be a fun time. Moreover, I personally find a lot of catharsis in fictional media where the good guys murder the shit out of a bunch of white nationalist bigots. It makes me happy. Thank you.